It is wise for each of us from time to time to stop and evaluate our lives as we seek to make the most of them. The start of a calendar year provides an opportunity to look back at the decisions that shaped our lives during the past year and it provides an extra push to make adjustments for the next one. But really, regardless of the time of year, self-reflection is important. Consider these 11 resolutions for a better you, proven by science. In fact, we'll link to the different studies in the description below. It is our habits that determine the course of our lives, and so let me offer you 11 proven ideas. Number one, exercise. Most of us recognize the benefits of physical exercise, healthy bodies, healthy minds, healthy confidence. Some studies indicate exercise contributes to a positive body image even prior to any body weight or body shape change. With as little as two weeks of exercise, we begin to feel better about ourselves and more comfortable in our own skin. Number two, less television. Those seeking to live an intentional life realize the negative influence that television has on our minds. It impacts our worldview, it encourages overconsumption, it oversimplifies life, and it results in less life satisfaction. Even more drastic, scientists are beginning to discover the habit of watching too much television negatively impacts our life expectancy as well. Now, I'm not saying you need to throw your television into a dumpster, but I am saying that deciding to watch less will be one of the best decisions you make for the upcoming year. Number three, go outside. According to recent studies, simply spending more time in nature contributes to increased energy, wards off feeling of exhaustion, and it results in better well being. Of course, simply walking from your front door to the car doesn't count. So make a point this coming year or an excuse to spend more time outside, even if it's just going for a walk every evening when the weather permits. Number four, read fiction. Recently, researchers have begun studying the physical impact that reading stories has on our brain. As you might expect, they're discovering that reading results in better brain activity, sometimes even five days after we finished reading a book. If you read fiction, you know this to be true. And if you don't, make this your year to start. Of course, I write nonfiction, so I also recommend that as well. Number five, give. Numerous studies show charitable giving boosts happiness and reduces stress, especially when the generosity promotes social connections. So if you don't already, find a cause or find a person that you believe in and begin supporting monthly. They will benefit, you will benefit, and the world will become a better place for everyone. Number six, similarly, serve. Volunteering provides great value for our lives and the lives of those that we help. One study, fascinating, found that when a person volunteers, they begin to feel like they have more time and are more efficient with their hours. Additionally, volunteers feel better about themselves, they experience lower stress levels, and they experience a deeper connection with others. The magic number seems to be two hours per week of volunteering. Number seven, buy less stuff and more experiences. In recent studies, researchers have concluded that buying life experiences rather than material possessions contributes to greater happiness for both the consumer and the person around them. If you're a subscriber to this channel, you know the benefit of buying less stuff and doing more things. Make that decision this year. Number eight, display gratitude. Psychologists have scientifically proven that one of the greatest contributing factors to overall happiness in your life is how much gratitude you show. And it can be experienced with as little as three expressions each day. 
So say thank you three times each day for better well-being. Number nine, practice smiling. Fascinating study out of Michigan State University. Customer service professionals who faked a smile throughout the day worsened their mood. But people who smile as a result of cultivating positive thoughts improve their mood and connect with others better. The researchers write in their paper that one easy way to improve your mood throughout the day is to intentionally recall pleasant memories or to think more positively about your current circumstances and then physically smile because of it. Number 10, stop and play. Our world is becoming increasingly busy as we measure success by all the external factors that we accumulate. And as a result, taking time to just slow down and play is becoming rare. But play is fun, play is enjoyable. We know that play enriches the lives of children by exercising their mind and their body, and it has the same positive effect on adults. So make an extra point to play with your friends, with your kids, with your spouse. Number 11, determine to be happy. Two experimental studies recently offer groundbreaking research. Uh, based on the study, they had participants listen to happy music and actively try to feel happier during it. And what's interesting is those who tried to be happy while listening to music ended up being happier in the long run. In other words, determining to be happy is a productive decision towards achieving it. Trying to adopt all 11 resolutions at one time is too much for anyone, certainly. But you can definitely find one or two from that list and you can begin applying them today and then commit to them for 29 days. You'll be surprised at how quickly they become a habit and how quickly your life improves in the new year.